Welcome to your CaptureU tutorial. This session is on how to collect data directly onto your Vicon Blue Trident sensors. To begin recording data to your Vicon Blue Trident sensors within the CaptureU app, select to sensor on the home screen. All data must be associated to an active session, so we must select an existing session from the list on the left or create a new session. If you'd like to add a session to this list, press the plus icon and specify a name. I'll put in tutorial. You then have the option of taking a photo to better help you identify your session in the list. Click use photo and then click done. If you wish to edit the session name or photo, swipe left and click edit. When your session is present, select it and then click new trial. Type in a trial, I will put in trial 01, and then click done. You can then specify which IMU axes you would like to capture. As you toggle each axis, you can see the capture status update down below. Each of these axes are pretty self-explanatory, but the accelerometer refers to the low G sensor. You also have the option of capturing video with your recording. If video capture is toggled on, you will have the option of choosing three different capture qualities. The resolution of each is dependent on the specific device used in capturing. Note that if your device supports it, high generally refers to 1080p and one second of data is about two megabytes. In this first example, I will toggle the video off. Within the capture status below, it is worth confirming that the data mode is correct. That is, we wish to collect to the sensor. If it is not, click home in the top left corner and start again from the home screen. If the capture mode is correct, click start capture. The next screen requires you to select the sensors you wish to use. Each sensor shows valuable information such as the available storage on the sensor, the status of the battery, whether the firmware is up to date, and the signal strength. Look on the back of your sensors for the serial number, then you can either scroll through the list and select the ones you want, or you can tap enable to select and then tap the sensors twice. Once you have the sensors you wish to use, go ahead and click start capture. The sensors will configure and then automatically begin collecting. While collecting, you can add notes to your trial, which can be exported later. You can also navigate within the app. If you click on the session, you can see the details of the current trial. The duration of the trial continues to increase and the red dot within the session and trial indicate that the current trial is actively recording. When collecting directly to the sensor, you can initiate the capture of a second trial by following the same exact steps as the first trial. So here I've got two trials recording concurrently in different sessions. Please note that capturing to sensor is the only mode which allows you to collect two concurrent trials. Furthermore, the total number of sensors that can be captured across these trials is dependent on your iOS device. So within the session list, I can see that I have two sessions active. Rather than clicking on each individual session to look at the trials, you can also click Home, and a new active section will populate, which will give you the same trial overview. I can then choose to stop capture from this screen by clicking on the trial, then selecting Stop Capture. It'll ask you to confirm before fully terminating the trial. I still have the option to enter the session, click on the trial, and hit Stop Capture as well. If you have chosen to collect with video, please confirm the video quality before clicking Start Capture. You will once again be prompted to select the sensors, but this time when you click Start Capture, you will actually get a preview of the video feed. This feed will continue as the trial collects. Unlike the, the collection without the video, you will only be able to collect one trial at a time. When the trial is complete, you can click on the icon next to the trial to preview the video. You can also swipe left and then choose to export the video and you will have many options including email, message, or possibly even airdrop. 
To access the data from all trials, cradle your sensors, plug them into your PC, and extract the data through the CaptureU desktop. This process will be covered in a subsequent video. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com. Please also feel free to check out the links below for additional documentation and videos.